Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your Apple TV app if it's not working on your iPhone or you're having issues with it if you're trying to play, of course, shows on Apple TV. So let's go into the troubleshooting steps to hopefully resolve any issues from the app not opening, it's not playing, or you're simply just having issues with it whatsoever. So really simple. When you open up Apple TV, it should work for you right away if you are subscribe to Apple TV, but let's say it's not working. The very first thing you want to check on your phone is the network connectivity. So pull down the control menu from the top here and turn on airplane mode for briefly and then turn it back off. And what we've done is a quick network refresh. So if there's any connectivity issue with your iPhone, oh, that should be resolved with that quick little trick. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is simply close out the app and relaunch it. Sometimes it's simple as that and it just works where you swipe up from the bottom here and then push it all the way up and it closes out the app and then reopen it and it relaunches the code on the software. So again, issues that you might have will be resolved with just a simple closing and reopening. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is a quick um, force restart. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one after another, and then you'll hold the side button on your right hand side. So it's volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button. I'm going to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black. I'm not going to slide to power off. And the reason why I keep on doing this is forcing it to completely shut down. And I'm going to keep on holding until I see the Apple logo reappear. And once the Apple logo reappears, I let go of that button. Again, make sure that you press volume up, followed by volume down one after another really quick, and then hold that side button. <laughs> And essentially it shut down the phone completely and it's reloading the code so if there was any issues with the phone software it should be resolved after doing this force restart now this method that we have done will not delete any of your personal data like photos videos apps anything like that so you should be fine to do it now the other thing you want to also verify is that if you have apple tv and you're let's say you're air playing it to your tv or something you want to make sure that you're on the same network. So what you want to verify is that go into your settings and then the Wi-Fi that you're connected to, make sure that it's the same Wi-Fi that it's connected to your TV. And this is handy, especially if you play AirPlay, because it has to be on the same network. Just a quick reminder, but it's important to do as well. Sometimes you also want Bluetooth on as well for your settings. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to check is that if the Apple TV knee app needs to be updated. And in order to check if an app needs to be updated, we open up App Store and then we search for the TV app. So we'll search for Apple TV and it will come up here and you should see here, if it says open like that, that means the app is up to date on the latest version. But if you need to update the app, it will show you something like this. So I'll show you an app that needs to be updated. So if I go over here, uh, if an app that needs to be updated, something like that, it will have the word update button here and you'll click to update it. So you'll click on that to up course update the app if you need to update it. But in our case, it's already updated. But again, if it's not updated, go ahead and update your app. Now, after you have done that, it's still not working. The next thing to do is go into your settings. And then once you go into your settings, you're going to look for the TV settings itself. So click on the TV setting. A couple things you want to verify. First thing is cellular data. You want to ensure that cellular data is turned on for TV, especially if you're going to be streaming um, on your data. So you want to keep that on. Along with that, you also see there's an option where it says use cellular data for streaming option. And again, this is important. If you're going to be streaming on your cellular data, you want to ensure that it is turned on as well, especially if you're moving from Wi-Fi to cellular or if you're having Wi-Fi connectivity issue, you want to check that out as well. And then there's also other additional options that you can check, like things like if you want to download uh, movies and shows through your data, you'll need to have that turned on. But essentially, if you have the cellular data option on for these two, it should hopefully work for you. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, it's time to do a quick network refresh. So you want to go into your settings app here, go to general, go all the way down here, it says transfer reset iPhone, click on that, the very first option for reset, and then you want to click on the second option, which says reset a network settings. And this should take about 30 seconds to a minute. And what this will do is erase things like Wi-Fi, uh, save password, any Bluetooth connected device, but it's important troubleshooting steps when it comes to resolving any network related issue that could be impacting your app internet connectivity. So go ahead and do that. 
and this will not delete any of your personal data like photos videos apps anything like that now after you have done that and you're still having issues with the apple tv app not working on your iphone it's time to go ahead and completely delete the app and reinstall it so in order to do that we simply press and hold the app that we like to delete click on remove app delete app and then it's going to ask for us to confirm and with that delete option and don't worry you can reinstall it by simply hopping over to the app store going to the search page here and then search for apple tv again when you do search for it it will come up here apple tv from apple make sure that's the one and click on that cloud with the arrow pointing downward and as you can see it should open up pretty instantaneously and now if we go to the very last page on the home page here we'll see under app library recently added it's been added we'll press and hold add to the home screen and now we have apple tv and then we can drag it around to move it to maybe the first page that it was originally on around here and we have apple tv and reopening it and that should again resolve any software related issue impacting your apple tv not working now after you have done the install not working the next thing to check is in your settings here you want to go ahead and go to general software update and update the actual software of your iphone if there is a software update available you'll see here where it says if there is an update available download and install you click on download and install make sure you're connected to again a good strong wi-fi or cellular data and your phone is at least 50 percent or more and generally with these in software update you want to allow yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes in order to make sure the download installation happens smoothly and that's it for it and hopefully by now your apple tv app is working on your iphone i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time